Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters! I'm Burning Dog Face, and we have a lot more dangerous things to worry about than a storm. If, uh, Walter Peck gets his way. So let's just go confront old Dickless and, uh, see if we can't throw a wrench into his plan. We need to get out of this. Yeah, we do. Oh, god damn it. Where were you a minute ago? I could have used you knocking down those things then. Damn it. Oh, where'd you come from? Eat several dicks, you abomination! On it. Right behind you, Ray. You know, I'm gonna say it. If there's a place where this game is uh, a bit weaker than I might like, it's that they rely so heavily on music that was actually in the movies that the music is actually really repetitive. Way to oh, miss, kid. buddy. Look behind you. Oh wow, Ray was pinned right behind that thing. Oh man. I think I just saved his life. Jeez. Holy! Maybe we should just run. What do you think, Ray? Ray! This thing may be shooting dark matter, but if there's one thing that never changes, it's that I'm a motherfucking surgeon with a shotgun! There you go. Long range brain surgery, bitch. Look behind you. Ah! Sounded like he got kicked from the crotch. It's a whole bunch of them! Uh-oh. We are separated. Get away from him, you freaks! Need some help here. We need to get out of here. Yes. Yes, we do. God, I don't even know where we're going. And now I don't know where Ray is. Again. I'm gonna go back over this way. We're close. What do you want? Oh, of course, duh. Doctor Stance. Sup? Actually, yeah. If I didn't know better, I'd think, hmm, I wonder if these readings mean anything. There we go. Okay, enough mad pyromania. So I've missed a few uh, of the... What's it called? Of the artifacts. But I am pleased to see that according to the uh, replay mission screen, I haven't missed a sing scanning a single enemy so far. I have been pretty good about that. It's a lot harder to miss them than it is to uh, miss the uh, miss the artifacts. I mean, that you know, it's as simple as whenever you see an enemy you don't recognize, scan it. A few times have you done that, and it's turned out to be like a one I've seen already, but with a new skin, like the. Uh, the possessed statues that had 
Aztec and uh, Egyptian themes. Okay, Ray's over here. What do you want? I see. He wanted me to trigger the next uh, cutscene. Okay, yeah, maybe this would be a more important thing to focus on. No! We're up. I'm high. Uh, not much longer can My I... organs. Ooh, that sparks. Watch it. Okay, one of you guys needs to die right now. Very impressive. There must be a spawning thing nearby. Portal or what have you. Did you just die? Not what I meant to do. Raymond! Did you see that? It looked like the shit fired out of my gun at the wrong angle. Nice timing there. Alright, we really, really need to bring down those assholes up in the air. I was hesitating because I couldn't find the one I'd almost gotten down. So I've just been hammering all of them. Shit. They really creased our can. I just realized I got that from Space Quest 6. It was one of the things the narrator could say when you died. And the narrator was actually Gary Owens, a famous voiceover actor who also just recently died. So, you know, rest in peace to him. It's always his enthusiasm in those games that I liked, or he's just so cheerful about it. Wow, he really creased your can. Oh, come on! He took us down both of the same shot. I wouldn't even mind if it didn't spawn the monsters and the cultists from the same spot. Or if it did, you know, the monster and the cultists in the same spot, but then you didn't have to deal with the, uh... Oh, man. Doesn't have eyes, Ray. Eat a dick. Find some cover. I hear you're making my way over. Could be trouble. I bet insurance is really bad. Fuck! 
thought we had it that time. If at first you don't succeed, die, die again. I think I might leave this whole s stand, section we'll in, just because this is the first time we've really ran into a problem in this uh, playthrough. Right place, right time. You can't escape these bolts, bitch. Oh, you're going to get a roommate. Come on. Stay calm. Help's coming. Running at a path. Run! What the? Behind you. No, you don't. Assholes are mine. So there were four of you. Got a piece of that one. Turn around. There better not be a spawner for those things. Is that what that is? No, it's just another one who's uh hiding like a coward. Could be trouble. See him. Let's do this. Fuck you. Or attempted murder of an officer of uh, the law. You got it. Save your time. Ray, would you mind getting that guy? Whoa! Look at him. We need to get out of here. Agreed. Well, hello there. Rick, you guys alright? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this group. Thanks for joining the party. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path for me. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Uh, you're welcome. I meant to do that. Well, I guess we're going in there. We don't have a lot of choice. Sorry, Tree, but I don't know that you exist in the first place, so... Man, the graves pushing up through here really did a number on this place. Walls of Patrick have a lot to answer to from the city park department. If we can prevent the apocalypse... Well... 
We are uh, representatives of the state of New York, so, you know, we're going to do our best. I see. Stand clear, stand clear. I got it, I got it. Ah. Uh. Oh, dude! The skull of Evo Shandor. Convinced that society was too sick to survive. Evo Shandor created a cult dedicated to bringing about the end of the world. He had more than a thousand followers when he died, and they made sure he was interred in dramatic fashion. Following hours of Gozerian rituals, his body was carefully placed in a dramatic, if unnerving, mausoleum. In the end, however, time and decay did to him what they do, what they do for all, with one exception. Though he rests in pieces, Shandor doesn't rest in peace, and his skull occasionally lapses into ranting fits and the odd soliloquies on disappointment and faded glory. Creepy. I call dibs and that not going anywhere near my bed. Run! It looks like I was supposed to go get it from through by going through in here. Well, maybe there'll be one last uh, visit to the firehouse, so that we can see what it looks like. Very impressive. All right, so I got in here the uh, proper way. You know, full points. That's not how graves work. Hey, don't cross the streams! Let's see what they like it. Oh, no, you don't. It's nighttime, there is no daylight. Whoa! Hey, 
Hey, over here, little help? We tried Yo, little help? This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Mm -hmm. Well, it's such an extreme situation. I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Hey, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. What even just happened? Our energy streams aren't going to hurt you. Peter, go. Stone Angel. Class 5, Minor Kinetic Animator. Corporeal, weakness to the proton, or a stream, and the Wrangle Slam. Weaker entities, possibly related to those of the heart of each stone gargoyle, these kinetic animators make up for their individual weakness by attacking in greater numbers. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, over the stone angels capable of attaining the speed of the underground before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a target angel. Man, I'm going back to Sunday school. A particle flow. Bummer. Well, in that case, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. When we try to fight our way through this angel mess. Oh man. Later.